can we talk about pay just kind of going through? So you're probably making like what 130 your first year out of school at Perella. Yeah. Um, I don't know, 150 maybe. I don't know. They pay pretty well, I think, but maybe a little bit more, 150, 160 max. Um, and then second year, I assume they didn't dock you. Did you tell them you were leaving before to Twitter before you got your bonus? Or it was like bonus uh, hit, and you're like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um I I did I did let them know. I told them like in April and uh bonuses came in June, but I had a good relationship with them. Like they're like, okay, well, you know, this is the earliest day you can leave and still get your kind of full bonus. Yeah. Uh and I essentially quit that day and started the week after, right? Yeah. At Twitter. You didn't um, have a break, unfortunately. But okay, so no. and then Tell me about like pay going to the M&A because oftentimes um, it can be a pretty big pay cut, right? Going from like the finance world to you know, in-house. Was it a big, like I assume the base was similar, like around a hundred, um, but was bonus like gone and it was just all in options at this point? Or was it like, how should, how should we think about that? And you can give a range. It doesn't have to be like, this is what I got paid. Yeah. Yeah, um, of course. So you're right. I think salary typically, um, within corporate and banking, especially at the more junior levels are gonna be pretty comparable, right? Um, so if you're two years out of banking, you're probably looking at 100, maybe upwards of 120 base. Um, there, some companies have a cash bonus program. It's never gonna be like anything near what a banking bonus would be. Maybe 10 to 15% of your salary would be an annual bonus and contingent on performance. And then the last component would be you know stock, right? And then the way to do it is, uh, it's a four-year grant. You get the full first year grant after your first year. And then every quarter after that, you vest another, you know, one sixteen, right? So, um, yeah. So, I mean, again, you know, how, how, how much, value. how much, yeah. Like, how do you even value that? I, I mean, I know they give you a strike price or something. Yeah. Right? On those options. So, then, like, yeah, how do I? Yeah. So public companies and even companies are, that are approaching public will typically not grant stock options anymore. It would be RCUs. So it's like a stock option, but with a zero dollar strike price. Even so better. it's essentially just a <laughs> share, right? <laughs> yeah. Um so you can you can you can value that at face value. Like it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. It's like we're gonna give you a thousand shares a year at today's value that might be twenty or forty thousand dollars a year. Uh, obviously there's opportunity during the four year vesting schedule for stock price to appreciate. Obviously there's also potential, you know, decreases and downside. Uh, so you have to make your own judgment call. Like you have to understand what is it worth today? And what do I think the company could go in the next few years, right? Could this be a company that could five X? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So obviously, yeah, there's more variability up and down there, but you can think of it as like, you're still getting a pretty good base. Um, and the, the stock grant two years after banking isn't going to be, at, at least on day one, it's not going to be as, it's not going to be like a hundred thousand dollars face value right that day. It's going to be probably closer to 200, to, sorry, 20 to 50,000 ish in terms of, but like with the potential to double or triple and then become that. Um, interesting. Okay. So yeah, you'd say that's pretty typical for that type of role, kind of a junior corporate bank, corp dev role coming out. Of yeah, that. I would say so. A couple years out of banking, um, you're not going to be, it's a pay cut. Yeah. It's a pay cut, but it's not a massive pay cut. Um, it's not, it's everything. not.